The Alps are Cape Epic is a spectacular South African mountain bike race that sees teams of two, both pro and amateur, tackle almost 700 kilometers across challenging off-road terrain. They climb just over 15,000 meters over the eight-day stage race. It's stage two and the route has been adjusted to accommodate the incredibly hot and humid climate. The day has been shortened from 102 kilometers to 62 for the safety of the 1,200 riders. Team Canada Factory Racing and Manuel Fumic and Enrique Avancini are wearing the Yellow Zebra Leaders jerseys for the second day in a row. Olympic champion Nino Schurter and Yaroslav Kulhavi are looking relaxed on the start line. The start gun goes for the second stage and the riders leave Hermanus for the last time. It's a transitional stage to the quaint town of Creighton. Shortly afterwards, the start of the women's top female mountain bikers with current leaders in the Hansgrohe women's category Esther Suss and Jenny Stenerhach. They have a comfortable lead of almost nine minutes on Ascender's health of Robin de Groot and Sabine Spitz. At the sharp end of the race, all the top teams are in the mix as they head out of Amanus and onto the surrounding trails. The undulating terrain of the first 30 kilometers sees the riders stretching the peloton and jostling for position into the first major climb of the day at Shaw's Pass. It's just four kilometers long, but it gains 220 meters of vertical altitude. The leaders, Cannondale Factory Racing, set the pace at the start of the climb, with Scott Sram Racing, Investec Songo Specialized, Pago Eurosteel, the African leaders, and Team Kansai Plascon, all in contention for the Dimension Data hotspot at the top of the pass. Nino Schurter takes a personal victory at the Dimension Data hotspot, but his teammate Matthias Sternemann is trailing behind. Both team members have to cross the line to take the victory, so it goes to the yellow jersey team, Cannondale Factory Racing. Sazo and Kulhavi from Investex Ongo Specialized trail the leaders with Manuel Fumic from Cannondale Factory setting the pace, followed by Scott Stram mountain bike racing. Schurter constantly pushes the pace at the front of the race, but it's the turn of the Czech Express Yaroslav Kulhavi to make a move and chase down the leaders. Sazo backs him up and they start to put the group under pressure. Investex Ongo Specialized continue the intensity and reel in the leaders as they transition into Caledon. They finally catch up and recover briefly before the last few kilometers of the race. Kulhavi takes the initiative and breaks for the line, followed by Schurter and Sousa. Schurter's partner Sturdeman can't find a gap, and Sousa and Kulhavi take the win. Cannondale Factory Racing, Avancini and Fumich take third and maintain the yellow zebra leader's jersey by 2 minutes and 39 seconds. The leaders in the women's orange Hunsgro jersey, Esther Zuss and Jenny Stenerhach of Mirandal CBC, play it safe and stay in contact with prologue winners Ascender Seltz, Robin de Kruert and Sabine Spitz. It all comes down to a sprint finish. Mirandal take the win, stamping their mark on the event and maintaining the jersey.